<laughs> Got the NPC look on your face, bro. Wake up. Wake up. Anyways. Welcome Hello, back, guys. Travelers. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> No, go ahead. Go no, ahead, you man. go ahead. No. No, I insist. Oh, you go ahead. No, go no, ahead. You're, it's, no, the intro is your thing. No, but you no, did Adrian, it last time. Yeah. I know, and that's what I'm saying. It's your thing. All right. It well, felt, hey, it, guys. It didn't feel right. Well, now time. now it's going to feel a little flat. Now it's going to feel soulless. It, it no, sounds it's like it's not going to have an identity to it. No, now. here, watch. It's... We'll do like a drum roll right into it. It changes everything. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of the Something Original Podcast. My name is Chase. And next up in the ring, we have... Ganon. <laughs> Hello, travelers. Welcome back to another episode. We're also Welcome being back. joined with our producer, Adrian. Adrian is I feel like Keith Lee episode. doing like the food reviews. When I, when I talk about that, I feel like Keith Lee doing those food reviews. Time to rate this podcast, 1 through 10. <laughs> at first, I, I really liked I how... At first, I really liked how Chase did the intro. It was nice. But more importantly, the drums were fire. I would rate that an 8 out of 10. <laughs> what do you guys think of Keith Lee? I, love I like him, him. I like he's him. So, he's so good. He's amazing. I like him. He's an amazing dude. People are trying to he's people are people. trying to bring him down. Have you guys been seeing this? Yeah. There's this there's this lady that was like calling him out for like stealing her idea. Did you see she the like, meme videos though after it? No. That people made? Oh, I'll tell you. Uh-uh. Yeah. You explain it. What's going on? Oh, I guess she was just like she I guess she sold the idea to a to a company, like a media company. With the, essentially the same premise of what Keith is doing, but it doesn't seem like Keith is a part of any like media company. It seems like he's just doing it on his own. And that's like the major flaw in her story too. Yeah. Like, yeah. If you know Keith Lee, not not even personally, like I've known about his page for months and months. Yeah. He's talked a bunch about how like he barely had anything before he started doing this on TikTok, and like you know he was struggling. Him and his wife are struggling to try to make ends meet. And, like, he came up with this idea, started doing it. Like, it, his entire page is a catalog of when you could see when he started doing it. Yeah. He also doesn't sell out to big companies. And it's just really, really the only thing he does with big companies is, like, hey, pay me a shit ton of money for whatever. While small businesses, he's just like, hey, I'm going to try your food and give it an honest rating. Yeah. Help you out. He takes his meme- platform very seriously. And there were meme episodes made by, like, fans of Keith Lee. And they're like, and then they pulled up like a video of his, like on uh, like green screen, yeah. and it was, uh, it was like him going to the, like the grocery store with his wife or something, just something. He's like, look, see, see right here, he copied me. I went to the grocery store yesterday. <laughs> Do you see this? Do you see this right here? And it's like, if you think about the gist of it, there's so many people that do food reviews. If you're if yeah. you're stealing if you're saying he's stealing the idea or the premise of what you're doing, he's okay. Go su- go sue Gord Ramsey. Exactly. Go so su- go go sue like you know all these big time you know food guys. Then like it's literally what they yeah. do. They're they're rating people on their food, and it's just like what. And he uh, he's like helping people out too. Like that yes. that one. Who was that one guy, Frank? His his restaurant just went, he, it blew up. <laughs> yeah, they were doing like news stories about it. It was just like they they were struggling, and Keith reviewed it and gave him. And I can I business. just think you know, I also just think about like the crew workers just from like yeah, working sure. in in food. I didn't have a passion for it, definitely no. And even though I just didn't really work at it, like at any legit restaurants, but if there was like a cook, I do enjoy cooking though in free time, but. If like your passion is being like a chef at one of these restaurants, right? It, yeah. And this is your passion, and it's like everything you're doing, and it's dying off, and then you have this random dude come in, try the food, give it a rating, an honest rating with no kind of like bribery involved. Then mm-hmm. next thing you know, your business is booming. People are loving what you're doing. Like these kind of jobs, bro. 
and he's he's going in like now undercover like he's trying to <laughs> not get like biased like uh service he mm-hmm. he he wants it to be authentic and give honest reviews i haven't seen like a bad review from him though <clears throat> you know <coughs> joking <clears throat> are you okay yeah i gotta go back to npc mode oh okay we're back Oh, good more. Good more. <laughs> I'm still joking. Good more. I couldn't hold it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yahtzee. Anyway, sorry. I Did didn't... you guys know that you're supposed to strangle geese to cure depression and anxiety? I strangled myself to cure my... I'm not getting the... it's two feet of a goose. Well, is that... that... They, See, are, the they are... They are... They are aggressive creatures. I, I'm... There, there was a, there was a TikTok of this guy. He was doing an interview with uh, God. He, uh, he died and uh, went to heaven, and he was, he was talking to God about. <laughs> he was like, you know, why, why, why uh, make all this sadness and depression? Like, why, why would you do that? He was like, oh, you know, those are just fail safes. God saying this. He was like, fail safes. What do you mean? He's like, yeah, you know, all you have to do is like choke a goose, and it goes away. And he's like, why would you ever want to choke a goose? He's like, well... I'd I mean, rather choke the chicken. He's like, yeah, well, they have they have very chokeable necks, you know? And they're always so mean. Like, why wouldn't you want to kill a couple of geese every once yeah. in a while? You know? Yeah. It, it makes got, sense. They got geese crossing, though. So what about them? Dis- disclaimer, we do not harm animals on something original. We do not care. It, oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, no seriously get it, don't go choking <laughs> goose <laughs> or geese <laughs> if you do record it please it's do not ridiculous. tag us Miss, make it look candid send though. it to us make it look candid like you're just some stranger you know somebody's like one of your homies is like oh my goodness dude what's this guy doing over here right and then you pull up a goose right i would not they're they're a rat like mm-mm mm-mm yeah, and I feel like they can, like you use their head as a flail. I feel like yeah. if they came down to it, you're done for. Listen there. How durable are their necks? You know, are they like just swinging shit and just uh, well taking out yeah, ACLs? Um, gr- growing up in the good old town of Lewisburg, um, yeah, and having uh, animals that eventually get uh, you know, you know that goes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've oh. seen it. Like I went into once, curiosity got the best of me, because my dad was like, "You want to go in with me?" And never again will I go into that horror. So factor. you fought you fought a goose? No, no. What they do to like the neck of a goose like goes down farther, bro. Yeah. Like into the like, and you just see that they pull it off, they pull it out. Oh, you saw, oh, like, yeah. a goose getting butchered. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. How that tasty. Way. Yeah. So, I and also, you know, I'm going to say I wouldn't hurt a goose, so. Because of that. I, I probably wouldn't either. I mean, if it's trying to murder my family, maybe, but, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, staying away. They're aggressive, dude. They, they'll they come at you, bro. And they'll, do they have teeth? Mm-hmm. No, but that, uh, that I don't know that, if they have that bill does pinch though. Try yeah, they I heard that it bill, hurts when they that bite bill you, does, That bill does pinch. I'm actually looking at something right now. WikiHow actually has a an entire guide on how to kill a goose. Eleven step on how to avoid oh. a goose attack. Oh. Lame. Just don't look be at some Kung Fu You don't look shit, them in the bro. eyes. You don't. You just don't look them in the eyes. You stand your ground and just like look down upon it. Like you're its master, you know. I will intimidation. Watch. I will raise. Apparently, you should not run from geese, though. That's what it says. Yeah, you gotta run race. towards it and just drop kick. Also, it. do not feed it. Why? Why? Oh, I actually heard you're not supposed to feed geese. It's actually like whatever we give them, like bread and stuff. It's not good for them. I forget what's good. Good, for them. give them more. <clears throat> So, yeah, uh, we're, ver- we're very population flip-floppy control on, the geese. on this whole <laughs> geese thing. Are we killing the geese or are we keeping them alive? I'm not killing them. No, we I, are not. But I have a, I have a follow-up yeah. question. 
Okay. It's kind of off the wall, though. All right, you're oh, allowed to have an do, army. Let's do it. Uh, army of like one animal. Okay. You can have an army of just one animal. What animal are you going with, and why? Honey badger. Dude, that's a well, ooh. Uh, wait, ooh, that's a good one. How many? How many uh, units? See, that's what I'm saying. Because then I feel like we might need some kind of like power scaling. But if we're doing that, then why would we even have an army and we just go one v ones? Yeah. You know what I mean? Let's just do uh Let's do like a a thousand. Okay. A thousand of reasonable. A thousand of each animal. Like, what are you? What are you going for? Honey badger. Wait, should we all come up with a terrain? We need some kind of terrain too, because those are factors. I can come out here and be like, I'm going to get an army of great white sharks. Next thing you know, Chase is like, well, we're in the Sahara. And it's not like the other guys where he goes out right. of his way, you know, into Let, like another let's, ecosystem. Let's take, let's take like, physics <laughs> out of it. Let's take physics like, out of it. If you want sharks... They can attack and do whatever they can do in the water on land and vice oh, versa. Oh, interesting. So they're just like hovering right above it? Exactly. So and the but environment that's, but is not really a around. factor. But that's one thing that adds to like a bent. Like they're just like in the air? Because they got... Yeah, they can, they, sure. They, they, oh, man. Uh, yeah. They just float around like but, Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Like this? Yeah. I mean, it's just no, like I, birds, you know? Like you can like get this. some fucking... Like, like this? Some... Uh, vultures and just wait for them all to starve and die and then the vultures eat them um situational how about this i get a thousand hmm. does anybody have their answer <laughs> i th yeah, i'm trying i'm still sticking with honey badgers i'm thinking komodo honey dragons ba komodo dragons honey badgers um I'm going fucking chimpanzees, bro. Like, Planet of the Apes. Okay, go for, like, literally the closest thing to human. Exactly. Well, I mean, it's... I, I feel like it would win. If are we're we... trying to win the competition, I feel like they can... They can so what are you going to do? Give them all up. firearms? <laughs> well, no. Uh, no no weapons involved, but okay. I feel like they can rip people's faces apart and stuff. Like, you, you remember all that right. story? That one? All right. Picture this. The old, right? They go Picture nutty, this. bro. Would... Okay. We're having we're having a fight now between a human and a okay. Komodo dragon, right? Well, Komodo in, in dragon's gonna in win. In comparison to your choice, okay. I mean, like chimpanzees are strong, yeah, but like strength isn't like the main factor, though. I mean, yeah. think about honey badgers, how much they could they could survive like venom, poison, shit like that. But can they survive acidic? So. <laughs> Nothing can survive acidic. Yeah, but when the when the chimpanzees <laughs> ripping apart ripping the head off of a Komodo dragon, they wouldn't and then the poison and then the acid it. eventually gets to the chimp, then yeah, you know, but But the thing is chimpanzees themselves are not very they're not violent by nature like fucking lions. Well, neither Komodo neither dragons. are the Komodo dragons. <laughs> they're they're just hunting for food, right? You know what it is? Violent. Honey badgers. Have you seen a Komodo dragon right. actually fight something? Honey yeah. badger. Have you seen shit. a chimp fight something? <laughs> yeah. I fought a chimp. What are you, what are you saying, Adrian? <laughs> I'm saying I could beat up a chimp. I'm saying you can't. Well, <laughs> I don't think I could. <laughs> I'm saying you can't. You're can. telling me in a situation like like if you put me in a boxing ring with a chimpanzee and you had Floyd May Mayweather, have you heard about the situation? Did you hear about the case like probably five years ago with a chimpanzee? Did you hear about these hands that have been existing for almost? It's gonna rip years? your face off, dude. That chimpanzee is gonna rip your face off. Do you know they like have, you're not gonna? They you're just not pull, gonna have, they have they the subconscious level of ripping a face off. Do chimpanzees even know how to fight in Southpaw? No. They don't upper hand me. <laughs> they will literally come up and just take both your arms by the shoulders and rip them off. Realistically, I don't see a, any of us fighting an animal and winning. Like any animal. I mean, there's, there's. I'm taking an ant many down. animals. Spiders done. Like if you dead. Give me a house cat. Fucking that bitch up. I don't know, dude. You're if lying. the house cat, if a feral house, I mean, a, not a house cat, but a 
I don't know. Still, a, I had a, a feral house, house cat, cat at one point. Like, I, I had a feral house cat out in Arizona. Yeah, like a feral house cat. They, I mean, they'll still fucking throw hands, bro. They'll they'll claw your eyes out for sure. And they're so nimble. They'll just be like flying in your hands and stuff. And like nimbleness doesn't make you immune from getting slammed into the wall every time I pick you yeah, up. Yeah, but they're also durable. Point okay, me, why are we condoning animals? Like, why are we? I mean, we're not condoning it. But we're... These are all hypothetical. Oh, my. We do not. I don't think Pete is going out of their way to listen to something original. Was like, if I slam it into a wall, I was like, okay, we're going off a deep end. That's actually a great topic to talk about, Ganon. You just, how you just mentioned PETA. PETA actually euthanizes a shit ton of the animals they actually take in. PETA is a very evil organization. PETA. I hate PETA. It's a sixty-one percent. But it's a good kind of bread. Thing. It is a good kind of bread. It is a good kind of bread. Oh, you know I just I mean? got some pita bread at the store at Trader Joe's of all ships? places. Oh, you say of, you say of all places hummus. like you don't live there. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Do dude. you shop anywhere other than I, Trader Joe's for your groceries? Yeah, I, I do. Just, I. Where do you where do you shop? I go King Supers and Target. Which, what's King Super? Would you uh, it sounds like a Colorado thing. Yeah. It's, oh, it's, okay. Yeah, it's, it's the like same Kroger's. company. It's just like different region. I think it'd be like Albertsons. They are also Kroger's about to buy Albertsons too. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Um. I like to go to Food for Less. What was I going to say? I heard Would Aldi you... is very good too. Oh, sorry. Aldi's is they have they have good prices. Aldi's nuts in your mouth. <laughs> Cool. Hey guys, welcome back. I made a pretty <laughs> sick, te- I made a pretty sick technical difficulty graphic uh, from the last time this happened. Um, where were we? <laughs> well, it comes in handy. <laughs> See, you already you have were... it made, so then. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it happens. Yeah. It's just... So, did you say we're at twenty-two minutes, Adrian? Uh, I'm, I'm just letting you know my recording's at 23. was at 23 when it uh, restarted. So it ended around like 19, 18 minutes. Yeah, so we should still do it for like 40 minutes to be safe. Oh, sorry, guys. Oh, just, another 40 uh, minutes? Another 40 minutes with you guys. Uh, Jesus. Oh, I can't. Just another day at the office. Just uh, another day. Mondays, am I right? Mondays. What the fuck? How are you? Do you guys like... Gannon, what was your question before we get super off topic? Um, Chase, my question was, uh, you know, if you could be um, any kind of turtle on the planet, what kind of turtle would you be? Oh, I know this answer. Um, probably, probably a turtle berry. Mm, that's a good <sighs> answer. He's told my answer. I was See, I was thinking turtle. Uh oh. <laughs> or a snapping turtle. If you know if you know you know. <laughs> it's a snapping turtle. <laughs> I love that video. It just brings I don't, joy to my heart when I hear it. I don't know that Have reference. You seen that? No. You don't know the reference? Hey, no. please don't you know that reference. Oh, no, you're on your really? own. You're on your own, dude. Oh. You've never seen this one where it's like this lady, and she's at the, she's like at a pond, and it's like a turtle comes up, and she's like, oh, look at there. That's a snapping turtle. You ever see that? <laughs> no. Okay. I've never seen that. It kind of sounds familiar. That's a snapping turtle. I might have turtle. watched it before or something. Look at there. A snapping turtle. You have to understand that I'm on TikTok all the time, and I have Sarah Chase sending me videos all the oh, time. What are you trying to say? I sent you some. Adrian. <laughs> You send me some sometimes. sometimes. They send me at least like one a day. Okay. Yeah. Right. You know, real no, I get friends. It, guys. I got to get my my TikTok game up. You know, I'm gonna start doing some thirst traps. I've been thinking. Here, watch this. Did you guys see Tom Brady's thirst trap? I'm hard. <laughs> but this is a thing. Yeah. This man dude. is having this guy. This man is having a midlife <laughs> it? crisis. It's bad. I can actually. That's embarrassing. It's that's bad, actually embarrassing. Dude. Bro, how he, old is Tom Brady? And he's like. 50, that's a, bro. <laughs> that's so embarrassing. He does look great oh for his age. Goodness. It's embarrassing. He 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 tags like the Gronk, meat is insane. <laughs> Julian Edelman and somebody else. He's tagging dudes in the fucking thirst trap, bro. Well, he he tagged them to ask them if he was doing it right, and I think it was Tyreek Hill no. who like cringe reposted. The point cringe. of a thirst trap is to. 
Send it to your send boys. It, uh, send yeah. it to the boys. You know. <laughs> so I mean, I guess he's doing something right. You know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you boys one later, and it's gonna be like I'm gonna play Ice JJ Fish in the background. I've already <laughs> seen too much of you. I don't, you've already seen too much of me. <laughs> I want to see if I can actually pull this up and share it while, while you guys are talking. Oh yeah, I don't talking, know uh, if you can share, but. I don't think I give you permission to share. Yeah. I'm a producer. I do what oh. I want. Don't let it go to your head, my boy. Yeah, jeez, dude. God. Have you ever heard of gonna get a Julius Caesar? <laughs> Julius. Julius. Caesar. Julian? That's what I said. The Julius. You said Julius. King Julian! You know what I mean. Tomato, tomato. He got stabbed. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> What do you think you got? I have to save this picture to show it off. The Julian, uh, King Julian? No, King Julian. Yeah, I shot him. You shot him? After the movie. (laughs) Damn, bro. Why? You not like the song? I gave him the song. Read this tribution of wealth. Oh, I didn't have to. I don't know if you guys can see that on the screen. I can't. Um, cause you're not as cool as me. Still, oh, still kind of loading. Oh, it's in. loading actually. Holy he, shit! He just hacked the mainframe. Yeah. Look at that. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know yeah, if it'll pop up. up for the um. There you go. Damn. Oh, for the recording, but just for your guys. <laughs> I don't know if it'll be. There it is. I don't know if the audience will Why see it. But look do... at this. Look at this <laughs> thirst trap, man. This is. <laughs> Laugh all you want. That is seven Super Bowls worth of thirst trap. In that yeah, he is like, and still alone. <laughs> still alone, bro. Like, <laughs> Damn. He he threw away a happy marriage. I don't know if they were really happy. He threw away a marriage. Whoa. Just to His play. Wife threw away. Just to play a mediocre season of football. I I wouldn't call it mediocre because it, it, despite the, the early exit in the playoffs, he was third in the league and and. Total right. yards. No. At his age with his team. I'm record. sensing a lot so. of dick riding right now. Yeah. It's insane. I used to hate Tom Brady, and I know if my family watches this, they're going to fucking be mad at me because, you know, they don't like Tom Brady. But I have I like your family. some respect for Tom Brady. I have a lot of respect for Tom Brady. I think Tom Brady, he, he's earned his right to be called the greatest quarterback no. of all time. He's honestly Having not. Having this that picture bad of up. I was just saying yeah, well, all yeah. this. Can you get it off the screen, <laughs> Adrian? Jesus. <laughs> I'm just looking at this He's man's like... junk. Like... <laughs> He's like said so those like... He's he, you know he's he's won seven Super Bowls you know he's done this and I'm like looking up and he's like grabbing his Johnson dog in like silk underwear. What the fuck? He's he's get also off. like he's also like in he's doing like a what's it fucking called? Self promo. Uh, what's it? What's it called? There's a name for it. Uh, he was promoting his underwear, bro- Also, in that yeah. tweet. Oh my goodness! This guy. This guy. He's making business deals while showing off. I, I mean, I can understand why people hate Tom Brady. I don't hate Tom Brady. Pull the picture back I up do. and then say it again. Say it. Look at right. Look right into his face and then say it. Don't pull it up again. Look, <laughs> I see him no, like pull it looking up. at it. Pull, yeah, <laughs> pull it up. I look, closed the tab, but I was about to open it. Look right at tab. it. Look right in his eyes in that photo. I was looking at his and say face. no. I'm no, look at his one. That's eye. more embarrassing. Yeah, I was looking at his his one eye. One eyed weasel. Mm, the one eye. Yeah, right don't like that. Gotta, gotta go. Like <laughs> Yeah. Um that is that is the look of a very sad man who got divorced from uh, his supermodel ex-wife. Uh and you know what? Her loss. She, she's broke. He's no, up. he she was making she's more money rich. than him. Yeah, she is like so much richer than him. Yeah, but he also you're forgetting he's retiring as the greatest quarterback in the NFL, going straight to a 10-year 300 million plus TV deal to just be an analyst on his, on Fox Sports, I think. On Fox. I mean, and that's where he will die. <laughs> Alone. <laughs> hey. I Make mean, an yeah. Well, I mean, football. I'm sure some some sad person will get with him and um, 
relish. Sad. It's Tom Brady. You Dude, he Tom looks like a wet noodle. He looks like a wet noodle. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Ronda Rousey and Tom Brady. Why? Tom Brady <laughs> and Billy Eilish. Tom Brady and Billy Eilish. No. Already, their whole situation's fucked up with Billy Eilish. You don't want a bigger age gap. <laughs> All right. Tom Brady and fucking Megan Good. Who? 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 <laughs> Actress Megan Good. Megan Good. I don't. I, I feel like I know mo. Uh, I feel like I have a decent amount of actors in my. I'm so brain. bad with like names. If I see faces, see I'm good. Um, yeah, Mac Miller a... album, pretty good. She, Wait, she was. Uh, I know she was on How to. Wait. Uh, oh, face. Man. You're. I'm so slow. I'm the totally answer, so bro. Slow I just had yes. to throw it in there. Yeah. Man. You sent it in there so casually, and I'm like, wait, he dropped a new album. I wish, dude. Too bad he Bro. can't. <laughs> Don't mean to laugh, but I mean. R.I.P. Oh, guys recognize the face now. Oh yeah. Tom yeah. Brady and Megan Good. I doubt he would go for it. Um, I doubt she would. What are you talking um, about? She would have to lower her standards to get with that man. Yeah, but Look I mean, her. hey, whoa, whoa. Tom Brady is. Um, what, uh, pull it back up, Adrian. Actually, I want you to be like Tom Brady. Timeout. <laughs> I want you to put it as your phone background, dog. I want you. I want you to put it up. As a picture, oh, when you're brushing up, your up. teeth in the morning, hold up. bro. If we get if we get 50 YouTube subscribers, we all have to make Tom Brady's thirst trap our home screen for a month. <laughs> I will pay somebody to let me do that. <laughs> 50 by um by the end of March. End of March. March. Yes. I feel like we're we'll right. do it. Yeah. No. Starting now, starting with this episode, 50. I don't know how many we have currently, but definitely want the YouTube to start popping. By the way, guys, we're uh, on every streaming platform. If those streaming platforms were only Apple Podcasts, Spotify, um, and we also do the YouTube. It's just a small little plug right there. Oh, oh that's the word for it. He was plugging his underwear. All right, mm, self, self plug. plug. Yeah. Ooh, that sounds. <laughs> sounds like diabolical. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds <laughs> self plug. Woo. Yeah, you're you're good, man. Just oh, I lost my fucking topics because of the goddamn. Because of the goddamn. That's fine. We will. Avoid your depressing no, topics. They are they're fine. <laughs> they're all right. Anyways, guys, <laughs> there was a <laughs> there was a. <laughs> did you did you read those uh, topics again? I didn't even get a chance to open them up. Oh, um. So I guess in Ohio, there's this uh, there's this homeschooling network. That is being run by Nazis in Ohio. Boo. We hate Nazis. So, and there's, they have over like a thousand, uh, thousand subscribers on their like YouTube account. Also, by the way, is that the criteria for homeschooling? Is it just YouTube videos? Because I never understood it. Homeschooling is, is, I, I, I don't know much, but I want to assume from like different a couple th different things I've read, and I think I've seen a video of somebody talking about how they're homeschooled. It's more of it, it's more of literally at home. You're you're just given the material of what you should be learning at that grade, and you're literally just homeschooling is literally it's just a translation of learning at home. I mean, it's not like any anything special. You got to go yes. to this website and see like it, homeschooling is supposed to be taught by like a parent yeah. or somebody who comes to the home. So yeah, My, I guess is oh sorry, I had, I had two siblings that were. Homeschool? Yeah. You were not, right? You were not of course homeschooled. Not. God. Me? You would they come out a weirdo then, you know? Well, they wanted me to because honestly I was pretty terrible. <laughs> but uh, I Aren't told them all? I would not make it. I would go off the deep end. Knowing me. How did your uh, brothers like it? Yeah, um, it was uh, one of my sisters and one of my brothers. Um, they, 
they they didn't really like it. You know, it, I don't think anyone really yeah, likes it, it. Yeah, it doesn't seem like they would have like group things, and I don't know. I don't, I don't think it. I don't know. I don't think it's very beneficial. I think it's good for kids to have like a um, social like, reinforcement. Yeah. You know, growing up. Um, I think it helps out tremendously with just everyday life because it, we we already have like you know anxiety, depression, and all these other mental illnesses running rampant, um, and I feel like these kind of uh, isolations within social settings can definitely mess up some things. Yeah. But if it's done long enough, they it's it's, they were just, it was just scan over huh? here. So look at psychiatrist Gan over here. You know, here. I'm just being real, homie. <laughs> he just threw. <laughs> Was it being real, homie? But yeah, yeah. Isn't that crazy though? There's like, there's a whole program, and like, it's it's growing by the day of like Nazi homeschooling. What exactly are they? It's literally that? like they have a website too, and it they they literally say we need more Nazi teachings in our school system and i don't know exactly what they're teaching but they um i think it's literally just like the history of nazi germany and like how it can be used in like today's society and stuff and it's being taught to like k through uh k through 12 actually yeah they have a whole they literally have like years worth of material to go off of so it's Quite literally, just Nazi indo- indoctrination, just white supremacy. Exactly. Indoctrination. I picture the most awkward people. <laughs> yeah, uh, and ex- yeah, they're homeschooled too, so they're coming out just like waving the hand up, and they're just. <laughs> we need more Nazis. You need to go see your dentist more. I first. thought it was 1942. <laughs> <laughs> where are your where are, where are your leader Hosens? <laughs> Pussy boys, you're lost. You're lost. Uh, what's crazy about that is it's like it's not even trying to hide hide what they're doing. Like, oh, you know, we're teaching about communism or Marcus, Marxism because, like, learning about that itself. It's, I mean, I think it's important to know about different forms of governments and everything that goes into them. Like, you don't have to necessarily glorify glorify them like oh fucking socialism and shit but like they're not even trying to hide it yeah. under any kind of guys they're just like fucking nazis you, let's this, do it this just caught my attention sorry side notes do you even like this his, like changing colors yeah it's changing colors or it's a Where filter you, or something oh on have my you had this on the whole time it's just my you guys have seen my curtain lights i've shown see I've shown you guys can't before. see it because adrian's Dude, it was that. tripping me out, bro. He was like talking. I'm like, dude, what's going on? Why is it screen? screened? Oh yeah, I set the mood of an acid trip around me. Just to it, it's yeah, kind it's of matching definitely, the theme of yeah. the podcast too. <laughs> it. Why is oh, it shit. doing that? When I move, yeah, it, yeah, it's like got lags. like an after effect. You know, what? it's like. See the 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 audience won't see it. The audience can't see it. It's but... insane. <laughs> It is nice. Oh, <laughs> he's flipping it off and it's leaving like a residue down. Wow. It's, That's tricky. It's, it's like a light exposure uh, effect going on. With Wait, this. is it... So your ca- your camera's not doing this? Like the effect on it? Is that just coming from like... No, that's just that's just straight up light exposure. How yeah. they do light exposure of photography just... It's just, I guess, this Again, it's bro, my things. brain right now oh, is like works? literally. <laughs> I'm gonna have to record myself separately, bro, in the podcast. Just speaking of no, I want a whole like... dance. I want a whole dance. Like, I want you to like back up from the camera and just like literally do a whole dance, uh-huh. like to a song though, like the Bee Gees. Wait, hold on, hold on. Can yes, I share my the... screen? I want to share it. You actually can, and it actually will pop up. Yeah. In the... Oh fuck! You don't just be this is not recording. gonna work out. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> Why are we doing this? Well, I, w- I wanted to do Adrian's scream. Start dancing. What, yo, what if this was like all like? Oh, nice. Oh, 
I get it. It's kind of hard to tell if the light. Yo, what if this was... See, backed up further, you could see it. Like, what if these were all, like, alternate dimensions? <laughs> It's like we're we're going to break like an alternate dimension in one of these frames down here and like literally a big bane effect is going to happen and we're just fucked. This is a great mirror effect I was looking at too. I stopped the share guys, so um sorry. It's okay. I'd rate that <laughs> a 2 out of 10. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back NPC. <laughs> 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 we have a the reason why I talk like this is because it helps with my anxiety. I would and rate I this like conversation that. nine out of ten. <laughs> Me personally, I do not like to have these conversations, but I can see why somebody else would want to have these conversations. So I'll rate it eight point four out of ten. These ratings so cool. are just kinda of weird. It's just like I will give it a six point nine. He never really gives anything below a, like a six. Yeah. Nothing. But it's like, why are the why are the points coming into it? You know, it reminds like, me of One Punch Man. How, you know, Saitama as like listed as a like, oh, yeah. like C a C rank hero. character, yeah. and then they and then yeah. he blows like the what's his name's chest out, and the the C guy the C guy, blow, like literally just like destroys him one punch, yeah. and then they, they're like. It, he's a C class, like is an S class even really, you know? Is it all no, really that? It's a uh, he. They messed up his rankings for some reason. Because the S classes are. I think it adds to the comedy effect. The S of classes yeah, are yeah, very yeah. good. Dude, the, oh man, I can't wait for the next season. This year, I actually did not watch. Like, I only watched like the first two episodes of season two. I've only oh, seen. I've only so seen I the mean, first. Like, you don't even season, know Garu. Do you know season Garu? two isn't that good. Honestly, I, I watched. Been watching so many animes. But I don't know. You don't know who Garu is. You would know who Garu he's is. In, yeah, he's in like the first. Is couple. he in the first season? Yeah. He's like little bits. No, he's in the, the he's in the, the second show. season, but he's in like the first like it's couple his, episodes. It's the student he talks about in the first season. I love oh, that series. Okay. I watched all of One Punch Man in like two weeks. Well, I mean, I've been trying to like, you know, I, I know we always bring up bad man. <laughs> it's what we do. I'm not going to bring up that show, do, but I, I still have assassination classroom to watch, but that one's kind of just like a, when I'm bored, nothing to do. I still have to start overlord. I am continuing black clover from where I left off. And then I did get Sarah to start watching my hero. All I heard really for, all I heard in this conversation was dub, 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 dub on his part. Yeah, hey. Assassination Classroom is actually, I'm only on like the third episode, but it's actually kind of interesting. I, I've only seen a couple episodes randomly, like <laughs> when I was like living in California and then it was like the only thing they had on TV in certain places was like Cartoon Network and at night, you know. Oh, R.I.P. Toonami. R.I.P. Swim was the goat. R.I.P. Uh, Toonami. Yeah, oh. and then I was, I'd watch an Assassination Classroom, but then I also started it. And I'm like, dude, it's actually a pretty good series. It's pretty interesting. It's interesting, especially because it's like the way it frames it. It's like these kids got to assassinate their teacher. And then you immediately start it. And it's like, OK, these kids didn't even want to do this. What the fuck yeah. is with this teacher? Who the fuck is this? What, why is he doing this? Like just nothing, you know, absolutely nothing. Yeah, I enjoy it. Overlord does really look look. It looks it's really good. Sick. I watched it. I saw a clip of uh, I don't know if it's the main character, whoever the skeleton is. Yeah, Isn't which is it? that? Yeah, like, it throws you off because you think he's gonna be the villain. Yeah, keep. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, when they're like, oh, he's 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 weak or whatever, and he like takes off one of his rings, and it's just like, Doh. I was like, okay, this is yes. kind of interesting, bro. Because have you? Do you know the premise of it? I I, re I read the premise. It's like uh, this dude's been a he, he's been. I forgot what type of game it is, but he's been gaming on this game for like 12 years. The server shut down. He's waiting for like the servers to shut down in game. When the timer clock runs out, it just doesn't. The game doesn't shut off. I don't know what happens from there because I didn't. That's all the premise says. He's like a max level ranked like dark wizard. Like with this st series, what I love about it is it's not like it's more of like him trying to figure out what he's supposed to do now. Because, you know, he's like a, 
all like you know he's Overlord, known as Overlord. So he, and he's been just known as like pretty much a threat in this game for so long, and now he wants to do good. It's sick because there's no like real character development on his side in the rank of power because he's already got all of it. So he's just trying to like it's sick. It's definitely interesting. Mm -hmm. And the NPCs like they gain knowledge yeah. and sentience. It's kind of like Yugen. <laughs> I didn't like that comment. <laughs> I give that joke zero point seven out of ten. <laughs> God, he really is just becoming. He's just ingrained in so many things, and he just does TikTok reviews. Like, here we are joking about him for like the fourth time. The yeah, man, we gotta just find some original content. <laughs> Actually, I wanted to ask you guys if you uh, watched the Grammys. I think it was last uh, night. Oh, the Grammys. I, because I was talking to this Sarah about this. swear word on here. I don't usually watch oh, the yeah. Grammys ever. I barely <laughs> keep up with it. But I did when Beyonce won Best Electronic Album of the Year. And I thought, and that was the one that got her the record of most is Grammys. It one, is it the one ever. where it's like, surfboard, surfboard. That's an old ass song. No, her album from last year, Renaissance, and it probably is good because Beyonce is she is fantastic. But it, it was one of those things that irked me because it's like, why is she winning well, best? She seems like she electronic. forgot where she came from, though. You know what I mean? Like, like you guys know me. I don't know if I mean the fans really don't know. I go to raves and Beyonce all the time. concerts <laughs> like, all the time. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I, there's a lot of DJs I, I know Adrian about. I met Adrian, and he was singing Single Ladies. <laughs> but no, like, I go to a lot of raves. There's a lot of DJs I know about. I mean, Sarah loves it more than me, so she's always playing them in the car or whatever, or telling me about them. There's a lot, of, a lot of them in the past year and a half that have just been putting everything they have into their albums, their shows, and it's been fantastic. And then here comes Beyonce makes a house electronic album, which I still think was just so she can have secured that Grammy. And then she wins it, not because her album was the best, not because it was the best electronic music, because she has so many fucking fans. The amount of her fans she has, I think is the amount of fans the entire Question. electronic genre Question. has, just for her. Is that technically all electronic music? Yeah. Isn't all music? I don't know where you're going all with music this. Technically, <laughs> electronic. No. Like yeah, what? there's some acoustic shit, bro. Opera, acoustics. But what are they singing into? Old school rock. Why is it called into? rock? What are they singing into? What are they singing? Well, there's into? no rocks. What is? They're singing into my asshole. What is happening? That is not a good mic. This is a this is a Christian echo. Minecraft server. Get off or be banned. I think it would create some definite reverb. <laughs> <laughs> what you call me? <laughs> Do with that what you will. Do with that what you will. It's so hard when they have when they're doing a full hour long set. And I'm just trying not to fart. How how personal are you guys with your uh, Alexas? I haven't had mine plugged in. In I don't have an Alexa. About you think the you big think bad government's like... tracking you? Yeah, I was going to say, you really think I'd have something like that? <laughs> I'm a couple conspiracies Damn, away from my grid, tin. bro. I, yeah, I'm, I'm, a couple, I'm a couple conspiracies away from tin foil. <laughs> okay. So, no. A couple? I mean, I say this, but I got like an Apple Watch. Like, they got, they got me all, they got me, they got me all just hooked up. <laughs> There's my mic right there. I'm not moving it. So I'm not moving. That's actually something interesting to talk about. Do you like? Have, have you guys have heard about just? I feel like the, the craze about it has risen in the previous risen? years. But all these people who are just like are you risen? Rizzy, oh. Jizzy, do the jingle. Rizzy Bop. Do the Rizzy Bop. Do the Rizzy Bop. Do the Rizzy Bop. Bop. Rizzy Bop. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Go receive up. God, we gotta start an acapella group. 
She got a like smile we. that appears to see and remind me of childhood memories. You're flat. My <laughs> <laughs> mind is dead movies again. <laughs> I can sing high. And I can sing high. <laughs> Oh, once again, Seth Brothers is undefeated. Peak. But anyways. I haven't had a carb since 2001. <laughs> you want to punch me in my face? I think you want to punch you me in my face. You punch me in my face. You look... So why don't you do it? Go ahead and punch me in my face. Nico, <laughs> <laughs> oh. stop. I don't know how many times I've seen that movie. It's, it's, I will forever cry. Whenever I, cry. I see it, Why? I have to. I die hilarious. every time. Still. Oh, I thought you were just sad. Well, I mean, that's afterwards when I realize the loneliness kicks back in after Will Ferrell exit screen. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't get better. <laughs> Wake up. But um, my my um, Alexa, I don't I don't know if you guys obviously you guys don't have this problem. Sorry to go off topic. Um. But my Alexa has been saying good night to me recently. No. And at what time? and I yeah, and I I have been saying thank you to my Alexa after she says good night. I think Amazon has conditioned you to be yeah, thankful. This is kind of ironic for artificial intelligence. Yeah, Chase is saying thank you to the Bezos bot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Bezos just Pavloved you. Get yeah, he's off. like he probably listens to this low key, or he has somebody listen to it. You know, he pays somebody to listen to it, right? And then that's what he's like. You know what? I'm gonna just install this into this guy's Alexa. I know he bought one from me. Yeah. Now, actually, I have a couple quick questions about that, Chase. What time is it? Is it at like when you're getting ready so, for bed? Is so so we have a. You go to bed every night, like at the same time every night. Yeah, we do, kinda. Um, but no, it's not at, it's not every time it is starting to get us figured out though. Um, it's syncing up our times that we, so we have this light that's Bluetooth and we connect it to our Alexa and we, ha the only way to turn it off is with the Alexa. We can't like manually turn it off cause it fucks the whole thing up. So we have to be like Alexa. Do you have it in your bedroom? The... No, it's like our, it's in our oh. living room. It's okay. Okay. I was gonna say this mic is terrible. Yeah, terrible, terrible. terrible. Definitely not. No bedroom <laughs> Alexas. Um, don't want a threesome, you know. Yeah. Cut that. <laughs> Alexa's in the corner. <laughs> Alexa's just a cuck, you know. It's. <laughs> do you only have? Do you only have one Alexa yeah. device? Or do you? Have we only have one, and we turn. So we have the light. The light is like a lamp and. In between our bedroom and the living room, and it's like a it's like a our way to see at night when we're going to bed. And I'll be like Alexa, turn off the light, and then she'll be like, "Okay, have a good night." And I'll be like, "You too." I'm I'm like, and I just I had this like self realization where I was like, I'm literally fucking talking to a robot. I'm I'm saying good night, like I'm saying thank see? you and good night to a robot. They're just. They're just getting you ready. They're so going to be. Of, you're going to be they're gonna ask people. for rights. You're going to be in the front lines, though. I know. I'm going, going to have to be. Wait. Fighting. So just to clarify, it says good night when you turn it's, off your lights. Not randomly. Just no, when it's you turn random off sometimes. Sometimes she'll say it. Sometimes she won't. Do you, have you ever connected your iPhone to your Alexa? Did device? it say it had I a camera? So. Through Bluetooth. Does it have Do a camera? Do you have your iPhone? Mm -hmm tracking your you sleep know? no like uh -uh. and do you do that sleep no. thing on okay because that's the only reason i would think like i don't know i've never had i mean because i had two i had the dot and i had the the regular mm -hmm. echo and sometimes they would just randomly say some shit it'll be like what was that yeah i think they've gotten better about that because like, they were like we don't want our fucking robots hearing everything we say i think they've gotten better about it where they can only turn on or they can only like activate when you say Alexa or Echo. Well, I say seriously and sometimes Siri pops up, so Well that's Siri that's Apple, brother. That's a whole different yeah. company. And that I mean, with mine, like I don't even want to say the name because it'll probably activate, but like 
if it even sounds remotely close, I said something that wasn't even like remotely close to Siri. Yeah. And it, my Siri was like, I couldn't hear that. Please repeat. I cannot hear it. Do you want me to launch the nukes? Just one bad, we're one bad wrong input away and we are in a nuclear winter, I feel like. When when do when do does the government hook up work like the that? new codes to an Alexa? Just why easy like access. A... Alexa, why bomb switching. Why can't it be like a nuclear like late spring? You know, why does it always be like something terrible? Like winter, we don't need that. Yeah, like, you know, yeah, like, like well, like I mean, nuclear, nuclear anything late would spring. not be great, you know. I don't know. What if, what if, like, during the second day of my spring break, I just want to see some nuclear? There's war? nuclear. There's Why nuclear families. It? It's like you know, they call what? Yeah. <laughs> the nuclear family, yeah. Yeah. So is that? Isn't that like what they just call a, a married couple with like a daughter and a son? Something it's like that. Like, uh, it's, it's like uh, it's like 1950s terminology. It's like the American dream when the American dream was real. And they were like, oh, yeah, everything's powered by nuclear power plants and stuff. They're the perfect power couple nuclear family, essentially. Oh. It sounds like propaganda to me. It sounds like that good old propaganda. It's a proper answer, propaganda. Proper papa. Peppa Pig. I what happened to her? I mean, I don't know. We're the memes. Like, in our twenties. I don't think we keep up with Peppa Pig like that. I uh, we've been watching White Lotus, and Peppa Pig was referenced randomly. What's White Lotus? What's White Lotus? <laughs> you no. Know, yeah. What do you guys know? <laughs> White Lotus? <laughs> Have you guys been not on TikTok at all? No. You're on a completely different yeah. side of TikTok than us. We yeah. Uh... Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm on the fucking. Uh, I'm on the cool party. side. Okay. Side. I'm on the milk cricket side. Yeah. Listen what, to look, the what, city what, side. What side of TikTok are you guys? <laughs> the footloose on? side. Not latte sipping. I'll tell you that. <laughs> up top. I'm on the cool up side. Top. Up top, Adrian. Up top. Yeah. You're the Trader Joe's side of TikTok. Adrian and I are on the dollar store side of TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> we, uh, we are the jocks, and you are the band kid. I wouldn't say that. I would. I would say I'm more like flag team. You know, like I'm. I'm maybe I'm rank not, league. Fl- right. I feel like that's worse than even flag. <laughs> I know. <laughs> where, would, where would you guys classify yourselves if we were back? <laughs> if you had the chance to go back no, in high school and I don't believe put in yourself the in any clique, Adrian, where would you put yourself? Uh, down with the patriarchy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Eat the Eat rich. The rich. Yeah. So what, what, what point... Actually, oh. hold on. What At what point do we start eating the rich and resort to cannibalism? Well, we should treat Never. it like no, swine no, no, they no, get no. nice and big, you know? <laughs> and then you get them. <laughs> no, I mean, like, I mean, like the fr- the French the French got an early start. They were chopping heads off. They weren't eating them. But I feel like there are some pretty twisted motherfuckers out there that are gonna want to eat okay, these. But people. how many wars have the French either lost or surrendered? No, I'm saying the French Revolution. It was like against their own kind. It was against the elites, and they they won that one. But now it's back to you know before time yeah, I mean, did they win because it's it's the future and <laughs> well they want well i mean nah, they they were able the to redistribute their wealth somewhat uh obviously whenever there's a coup this is a fun history lesson whenever there's a coup in any country and the workers end up winning that coup uh the the elite somehow weasel their way into the social change and try and negotiate for them to keep some of their power and then if they get that chip at the bargaining table, they will always rise on top, no matter what. Mm. And that's what happened with the French Revolution. But there were some heads getting cut off? There were head. well, before, there were heads being cut off, but the ones that didn't get their heads cut off, they uh, were like, hey guys, you know, we'll give you some of this stuff if you uh, let us keep, you know, like... Our lives? our lives and we'll you know keep our business and stuff we'll well can we still employ you 
employ you, you know? And I'd like, say, <coughs> no taxes. <coughs> exactly. It was like, it was still like, <coughs> lower the taxes. Oh, we'll yeah. actually, ra- we'll like keep, we'll lower it, but we won't do the rates that you want, you know? That's what happened. There's only three things that are certain in this world. Death, taxes, and the college homosexual experience. Can't relate. I'm sorry. <laughs> All love, Adrian. All I can. love, but I mean, I just haven't <laughs> experienced that part of my life. <laughs> you can't, what, this Honestly, is not a mirror. Is so, you've been doing that for the past like thirty what are you, years. It's been throwing me off. You guys, it's new. It's something new, and it's fun. It's on my face, and I see it. What are your goals? Well, you know, I can't, I can't mm-hmm. say anything because I do. When mine gets longer, when it's like going over my lip, I'm constantly just like pulling at the end. Well, like I, I shave my, my fingers. I shave it like right where it's getting to the lip. Mm-hmm. Which is good. It keeps it clean. Looking. That's what I do too. You should just shave it all. You should be clean shaven. Give you more of a Colin Jaws. I look style. like a Maybe. baby. Who? Who? He's one of the guys on a SNL. Mm. Who's watching oh, I, 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 I don't know. Adrian. I don't know. I, I don't even know how SNL... Adrian. Adrian. No, I just... I, that's a lie. Why are we He's watching. He's watching. No, I just... I watched a clip earlier of uh, Pedro, Pedro Pascal. Um, Where's the Mexican oh, brother? I, yes, I, I saw I the Mario one, him, too. But Did you guys see the Mario one? The Mario one was awesome. That was great. sick, bro. It was like an H- makes it like an HBO SNL. special. Mario. It was like a. It was like a. It was like a. Uh, what's it called? Fucking just a darker themed Mario. Yeah. So what do we do if we fall off and crash? There's a guy that comes by on a cloud with a fishing pole and he'll pick us up. <laughs> <laughs> what? And it's just, <laughs> if you guys if you guys were famous, would you guys accept an invite on that? Uh, probably. No. You know, just to no. be a part of the whole scene. The, yeah, the whole. Scene. Uh, you just want to fit in. Oh, you the just want to be scene. part of. You just want to be part of that scene. Right? No, I'm good. I'll really? stay at home. Yeah, I'll. I yeah, I'm dude. I'm not. If we blow up, no, <laughs> that was the thumbnail. I got the thumbnail right there. <laughs> if once we blow up, <laughs> I'm not being associated with any of that. I'm really. Yes. You're not gonna do gonna interviews at all. <laughs> no. no. Really? Really? Yes. Why? Because I don't be. In, I don't want to even remotely be interlinked. Interlinked. What if you get on Sway Show? Yes. Sway is the only exception. I will make. What about? What if the Obama or is like, breakfast, hey, come not on breakfast, podcast. That's with uh, Charlemagne. Charlemagne. Yeah. And yeah, I'm good. Yeah. I'm so good. I do not want to deal with that energy. That's what just about such energy? Jimmy Kimball. Absolutely not. What, what about that? Jimmy Fallon? Why are there so many Jimmys? Dude, the, 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 I, I don't want to get near those people. If you know what I mean. <laughs> what I about... Know. What do you mean, you people? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be close to them. None. I don't want... We I are them. I don't want to bump shoulders. I don't want... It's a desk. You're across the desk. You're not bumping. Yeah. They've spaced yeah. it out. Yeah, but no. Why are you no. twirling your mustache, bro? You are because like a I'm fucking s- villain I'm, right now. I'm bro. now sinister. Like... I've gone in full sinister mode. They say every good villain arc has a mustache involved. What What's the tier level for like villain? Like goblin mode? Sinister mode? Evil Knievel mode. Uh, You're busy making up stuff and adding. Yeah, I'm it. making stuff up, but I mean, like, <laughs> uh, what are you rank? You got to rank it from like uh, worst. Jet fuel to, cannot like, melt. Most still evil. beams mode. Bush did 9/11 mode. Those are two different tiers. I feel like jet fuel. That's just a fact. The, C- the CIA killed JFK mode. FBI killed Martin Luther King Jr. I don't even know. Actually, no, that's not true because I played Call of Duty and I know that it was actually Alex Mason, one of the characters from Call of Duty, that killed JFK. So don't even try that. Sorry. 
Yeah, I forgot those games were historically accurate. That's why I haven't played so, them. So historically accurate. Yeah, mm. so Godzilla Bay and King Pigs? Kong. I know all right? about it. I played a mission through it. Zombies. Those are real. JFK mm. fighting zombies? Real. Very historically See, if, if they would make a Call of Duty skin that was JFK, I would play Call of Duty. You were playing Call of Duty. You actually were only able to play as JFK. It was World at War. Really? You can play you as... Make it, a, it was JFK, Robert McNamara, who's like the Secretary of Defense at the time, Richard Nixon, and uh, Castro. Can you imagine how terrible it would be Fortnite? if Fortnite, Fortnite made JFK. as like JFK and Abraham Lincoln pack? <laughs> uh, that would be bad. <laughs> you got to put the killers in, though. <laughs> You're gonna put them too. You gotta put the the others. Who were, who were the killers? It was Lee what? something. Lee Harvey Oswald. Lee Harvey Oswald. Lee Harvey and Oswald. It, who was, he killed who? Yeah. And it was another Lee. There was another was Lee. Mm-hmm. Not you're you're about to say no, Robert E. Lee. We don't talk about that I mean, fucker. No, I was gonna say. <laughs> well, yeah, they're they're know. still all bad people, but I mean, it's uh, it was like. Oh, what's his oh, name? Who killed? Who me, killed? Abraham John Wilkes Booth. I'm thinking of John Wilkes Booth. John Wilkes John Booth. Wilkes Booth. Yeah. Yes, thank you. He's the one who killed Abe. Abraham Lincoln, mm-hmm. right? Honest Abe. And then Oswald killed Abraham JFK. Lincoln. Yeah. Did he? What are you saying about Ask Trey? Uh, Trey was telling me about Abraham. I thought Abraham Lincoln was like a good guy, but apparently not. Yeah, he was... He wasn't a bad person. He he, did, he fought for rights for you know the people that needed it. But he also wasn't a good person because you know he nobody he didn't do the either. whole like free the slaves thing for like wanting to free the slaves. He did it to there we save go. the yeah. union. See, and that's why I like JFK because no matter you know they're like uh, JFK no he was trying to do some. I actually got a video saved. I'll send to you later of like quotes by him. Like, pretty much, like, not that long before he died. And I'm like, this guy actually sounded like a boss. No, he, he's cool. He's, he, I mean, he sounded he, legit. He's just one of the oest of the G's. If I had a time machine, I'd go back in time and I would just try to talk to JFK. All right, boys. I think we're at, I think mm-hmm. we're at the point. I think we're at oh. time. Oh. Right, oh, yeah, wow. mid, mid thought. Why, why are you, that it's combat? literally, we've been Cutting doing this for like three <laughs> hours. We've been waiting, we were waiting. <laughs> You're acting like a real slime ball right now, you know that? Mm. Turtle Would you, would you wow. say I'm acting like a Turtleberry Ricky? Ricky? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah absolutely. 100%. I will not let you tarnish my name like this. I'm putting it on your grave. Can we bring back like duels, Chase. like where you just Turtleberry. come out huh. with the glat and just like you know, with a what? You know how they used to do it in the old times? A yeah. glat? What the fuck's a glat? The glat. The ratata. Well, what the fuck's the glat? glat. Take take the L out of it. It's take a good old broomstick, buff. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that burner on me. I'm gonna. Oh, let's keep that. We're gonna cut me. all this. I'm gonna um, keep that that piece on me. Like you do with that hot sauce at one time. A piece? What? A piece? Hot sauce? You made a video like that. He stuck hot so- a bottle, a little bottle of hot sauce in his sock, and he was like, "I keep that thing on me." And just l- slowly lifting up his fucking uniform pants, and it's just a bottle of hot sauce in his sock. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, who did this? You did? I did. I would keep hot sauce in my my sock at one point because I always would want hot sauce on my food, and then so I'd have. Hot sauce. Got that thing. I always got that thing on me. Like, oh, y'all need hot sauce, bro. I got it right here. Was it tapatio or was it? Did it smell like feet? No. It's in a glass bottle. Oh. And it's like up at the top. Do you know how high boots are? (laughs) Boots are high. I just feel like it would. I feel like it would just get like it would just like radiate into it. It would be like a like uranium. Or something. So you think he has enough stench that yes. it acts like uranium and soaks from his the leg? The beacon has the many more uh, def- like meanings to it. He is radiating just light and energy and stench. 
<laughs> You're like looking into my soul right now. Jeez. All right, all right. How are you guys feeling? How are you guys feeling? I feel good. Yeah. Do you? You? I feel you? enlightened. How are you feeling? Are you going to have an attitude the rest of this <laughs> the rest of this episode? For these last two seconds the of this podcast? last two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> I am. You can find us on all streaming platforms, guys. I'm talking YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify. We also have our Patreon. Mm. It's only $3 a month, by the way. Only three dollars. Only three dollars. That's right, guys. I'm talking only three dollars on it. You will find next caller. You will also find death. Our friend. More to come. More to come. Coming everywhere. Back to you. Pause. <laughs> actually, with that, um, oh, I didn't what? tell you guys about. You got to follow up for this. I am. Yeah, I'm actually coming to uh, start. Kind of how you do your uh, whatever book you're writing. I'm actually going to be Definitely. soon writing and releasing on the Patreon. The what I consider the short story that connects into the actual book I plan to write. Oh, okay. so, so oh, that should be coming soon. Okay, now I'm gonna have to pick up my heels because there's somebody <laughs> gonna be out here dropping content every other week, and I'm over here struggling with chapter two. I also for any of our uh, sci-fi fans viewers, oh, sci-fi. Who, uh, like a good mystery who are interested in you know a mystery story Bro, about the Bermuda Triangle. Dude, it'll be think coming. about this. Then, like, ten years from now, crossover episodes. <laughs> ten years from now, you drop the second <laughs> chapter of like, Death Our Friend. Have, have, have a character from my universe come over into, like, your animation style. Bro, you know, it's... Are we... Are we is this the beginning of our something original cinematic that'd universe? That'd be so sick. The we all create stuff. And, like, Ch- like Chase's game, like, was... Never mind. Yeah. Classified, classified information. Because yeah. then I'm gonna get excited, yeah. and then I'm already just... talking about it. Yeah, we can, we can, we can't put too much out there for them. To, we gotta they gotta be excited for something. We can't yeah. give them too much. I mean, they've been waiting for a fucking next caller. You know, <laughs> they're just like, come on, guys, give us something. Or, or a or new Death Our Friends. You know? Or a new Death okay. Our Friend. Or one of those oh. other shows that we plan promised to do but haven't done it yet. I do also have an, an announcement. I've talked about it before, but I, I will be dropping a video. Hopefully, very very soon on the something original YouTube. It'll, Is it a twerk instructional video? Yes, for sure, one hundred percent. Check it out, guys, <gasps> and another video. But <laughs> but definitely, what kind of video? Definitely, is uh, stay tuned for that because I've been I've been writing the script for it. It's going to just be like a, a its own standalone like video, and I feel like it's uh, it's gonna be cool. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, do you guys have anything else you want to talk about, say? Oh, there was a poem I heard. Well, in, in the gist of it, do you think about how spectacular it is that we all live together at the same time? Yeah, that is cool. I think about it like, all the it, time. It, I was like, dude, it, we are, we were all born at this exact moment and we're living in this in current same period. Like you think about right each now. individual time frame throughout history, each era throughout history. I'm like, dude. I thought about that. There was a poem. It was talking about, like, someone you love, you know, in the sense. But, I mean, like, my homies, why not? Man, I love y'all. We all love our homies, you know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Big gang activities. Got the, got the Glock and the Rari. 17 not shots, no 38. Can I get to the yams? Cut it. Cut it. Sweet <laughs> yams. Rizzy Bob. Show me the way. The way. Cause I got bills to pay. Yeah. Like that. We're gonna get copywritten. All right, Adrian, did you have anything? Uh, uh thank you everyone for listening, viewing. Uh, my family, if you guys are watching this, just never fucking tune in for an episode nope. again, please. Please don't. That's all I ask. I, I think never again. I've, I've. This isn't for you. Talked to my parents about the podcast. I don't think they listen to it. But um, I, I I think our content's clean enough. I mean, you hear some crazy mm. fucking shit on other podcasts. Yeah, I mean, our early We're ones We're not big enough to talk are, like that yet, though. If my parents heard our early ones, they would. Well, oh, I mean, parents. our early... I mean, they I'm saying, like... They would not be happy. You, you listen to the current <laughs> ones, they're good. Our beginner... Our first episodes are just, like... Oh man, they are they are not yeah, I totally family friendly. 
Oh. But we, we've definitely cleaned it up, for sure. Um, anyways, guys, my name was Chase. And I was M, and will always be. Again. Peace out. Thank you. And I'm Adrian. Oh, yeah. That, there, I still haven't figured out your <laughs> outro. Can we do it again? Hold on. Okay. My name was Chase. And I was, am, and will be, Ganon. I'm the king of the Rizzy Bob, Adrian. Mm. See you guys later. Mm. Ah, no, I didn't mm. like it. I, 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 I mean, it, I feel Did like I it's that? still, like, it's too long. There's too yeah. many pauses. You, you can let it marinate. We'll, you know? we'll, we'll follow up next well, yeah. time, guys. I'm, no, I'm no, sorry. Well, no, no. we got we got to end it on a good note, I feel yeah. like. Um, My name was Chase. Am I? Nah, I'm gonna mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's your name. My name is Chase, and I was and and will always be Gannon, if I can remember it. And I'm Adrian. Wait, hold on. And I'm Adrian. Add some like. I feel like I feel like Gannon. I, no, I feel like Gannon has to go last. I feel like Gannon has to go last. What if I go first? Okay, yeah, Adrian goes. can go first. Try okay, that. Here we go. You should leave this all in. <laughs> I, 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 I. Uh, but thank you guys. Thank you all for uh, tuning in. We love you. Uh, my name's Adrian. And I'm Chase. And I was am and will always be Ganon Peace. Boom. That was it. That was so good. Dude, all right. Honestly, see you guys later. <laughs> kind of aroused. What? Peace. <laughs> That's saying <laughs> in, brother. <laughs>